What's up, boys and girls? This is Sethan407, and welcome to Never Dead. This is part 16. We are finishing up in the agency in this video, finally. I know this is like the third video of us playing in the agency. Technically, it is. I mean, we started off in Arcadia's apartment, and then we went right to the agency pretty much right after that. And, well, you know what? There's quite a bit of floors, okay? This is a big building. So, that's why we're still here. Got some uh, lots of puppies around and stuff. You could try to get uh, them to fetch with your limb. I tried that at first, as you'll see on here, and they got bored with it real fast. And they started coming and asking me, I'm like, you son of a bitch. I'm like, I'll just wait till the first, you know, the second level or whatever it is, second chapter, to go back and play it. So, yeah. Not too happy about that because I was like, come on, really? There's all these puppies, and I could be getting that trophy already and not have to worry about it. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, like I said last video, I don't really don't pay attention unless I'm thinking about the trophy, and then I'll try something. But other than that, I won't go out of my way to try to get it the first playthrough. Okay, so now we got an inflator. Now, I found, well, you know, this is common sense, obviously, that if I stand behind these tables, <laughs> aside from that one, um, he's, it's hard to hit me. <laughs> Not right here. <laughs> well, and one of the tables gets upended a little bit. <laughs> Once I get myself put back together here. <laughs> I was like, oh, I better not fall off the edge there. Or at least, like, stand near the table, so, you know, while you're shooting him, yeah, he'll shoot that at you. Now, see, I should have got out of the way. I mean, actually, this isn't working out too well. I thought it. Was, I thought I could this word it. Oh well, with that, yeah, with the with the door, that was fine. And then he tries throwing the table, and the other table, the door stopped it. And then he just stands there, and he's like, "Fine, I'm dead. I might as well just die." <laughs> okay, fine. You are going to, because I'm going to kill you. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Gonna wait for her slow, slow ass to open the door with her key card that she's gotta dig way into her pockets or whatever to get it. Alright, and I'm like, come on, what, what are you doing? I'm like, I know you were just using the key card. Come on, what are, you, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? And I'm like, oh, the door's over here. <laughs> They're open. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Alright, it took me about five minutes to figure this out <laughs> on how to get out of here. I thought I could come through that little opening with the flames. Not as such, no. You just uh, there's an opening above here, and he says something about it too. So what I did was at first was I threw my head in in the game, you know, threw it in there, and I'm like, hmm, oh, I'm gonna need an explosive limb. So you actually need that in order to trigger it. So you better buy him by now. You should have enough XP by now. Holy m shit! I mean, you know, they're only a uh, hundred thousand, so besides, they're fun to use. Alright, so you go through there, you automatically get the collectible when you come back through. So I went ahead and threw my arm. Get in there. Explode it. There we go. That opens the door. For the most part. Obviously there's going to be some... There's some puppies in here that bite your head off if you're not careful. There we, here I go again. Ripping my arm off. Fetch! Alright, I'm like, oh, there's only three of them. Like, all right, fine, whatever. Give me my arm back. Give me my arm back. And I gave up. <laughs> I didn't try again. Yeah. Actually, I think that's all they're that really in here are puppies. I think once we destroy them, after we get ourselves put back together, then that uh, door will open up. I don't think that there is... Uh, God damn. I don't think there is anything else. I got turned around there. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what happened here? <laughs> There's plenty of these. I was surprised that one puppy didn't slice the old limb off. Oh, there is a limb sitting there. You bastard. I didn't even see you get that. <laughs> oh. Well, see, right there, she must have killed him. Now, I don't know what the significance of that is. I don't know if when that blew up, it was showing me that the demon part of the door blew up. 
Which doesn't make any sense because that wouldn't have anything to do with electricity. I'm, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, should I have thrown myself in there again? I don't know. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm like, am I just ahead or what? What the hell is going on here? And yeah, there's a chair of collectible in one of these elevators. I just passed it. So you want to grab that. And then you get yourself into another elevator. Matter of fact, that might be the elevator to get in because uh, it's the only one. That, no, it's a different one because I just got another, some more XP. So take it all the way up. We are almost out of the agency here. Almost. Oh god. Oh boy. So you want to climb out here and actually. We did. We finally fought our way through the agency HQ, it said. Okay, but yet, we're still in the building, so we didn't really... I mean, we did, for the most part, fight our way through. Alright, so we got some spoons here, some puppies, some serrated spoons, actually. Hardly ever see any of those regular spoons anymore. Probably because they know that I'll kill them right away. Uh, serrated spoons are a little bit, a little bit more tough. Plus, of course, you, uh, you know, do a little bit of an upgrade or something. Get some upgrades to your blade. Which I did. I think after after I was done with this video, I went ahead and upgraded again. It wasn't really, I mean... I don't know. It just seems like... Uh, I probably will notice a difference once I upgrade. Or once, you know, once I play this again. After I did my uh, upgrade to my blade, but... Now, right here, it's fine, because there's a whole bunch of explosive barrels, and I just started shooting randomly, and I'm like, oh, oh, wait, there's a barrel. Ah. Man, I blew them up. Um, I went in here, and under the stairwell, I was grabbing a collectible or something, or I was looking under there, and, she, you know, Arcadia follows you everywhere. Well, she pisses me off, because a lot of times she'll just stand there and not move. And I, I'm, I'm standing there whipping her with the blade and everything, and I'm jumping up in the air trying to get the hell out of that stairwell because she's just standing there. She's not getting the hell out of the way. I'm like, get out of my way. I'm like, come on. Finally, I was able to work my way out by jumping up and down and moving forward. <laughs> but she was pissing me off. Look at this. That can't be good. Oh, man. Yep. You. Supposed to be a friend, Alex. Hey, I knew that he was. Oh, Since the beginning, I was like, no, he seems kind of shifty. Well, that's because he's uh, he's evil. Should have known that. Okay, any friends in this game? Although Nikki Summerfield has become a little bit of a a friend as well as uh, she's become less annoying, I think, because I think she's starting to respect the fact that uh, you know. We saved her ass numerous times, and she's not being a little snobby bitch, finally, so that's good. She's actually becoming more sweet. And she's actually becoming, like, the younger girl that she probably never got a chance to be. Because, you know, she probably started off at a young age as a, you know, a young celebrity and talent and everything. That she never got a chance to have a childhood, so I think that's what she's realizing now. At least that's what I'm thinking in the storyline, you know. I don't know. Hey, don't quote me on that, because I don't, I don't know for sure, because... Like I said before, it's hard as hell to find any information about this game, and even if you do, who knows if it's right or not, because there's hardly anybody that's played this game. Oh, that's the stuff. Nothing like coffee and a little little bit of a chilly morning here in here in Erie, Pennsylvania here. It's a little bit chilly, it's not too bad. It's probably uh, maybe in fifty five. Or something like that. So it's a little, little chilly. Now, since those are exploding puppies, well, I went ahead and gave them a taste of their own medicine. Threw them a limb. Well, here you go. Here's some exploding jerky. Human jerky. <laughs> All right. So we went ahead and grabbed some uh, XP and stuff like that. Well, we're not leaving you right now. Right here? I don't think there's any, um... There isn't really any kind of, like, strategy to this. Just 
shoot the red objects, I guess. That's that's all I can really tell you. I don't know. I only did it once, so. And that's the seemed to work. I didn't die, so. <laughs> but we are coming to the end of this video. And we finally finished up the agency chapter. So we'll be going to chapter 7 next, I believe. And there's going to be a couple of pandas we got to fight. That's all right. We'll get a trophy for that. Um, but we are uh, going to be back in Never Dead Part 17. So until then, this is Scythe 4077 saying take care, cheers, so long. Rate, comment, subscribe, suggest. But most importantly, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next vids. Bye-bye. Arcadia, wake up! Get a hold of yourself!